lead again. Tom Sawyer! What happened to your beautiful hair? Kept getting in the way. You look like a ragamuffin. Your dress seems awfully full. Gotta go, Auntie. Boys are waiting. For today, Captain. Pirate Storm English flagship. That's it, Wack. Let's get moving. Hey, how come Tom always gets to decide? Ain't it someone else's turn to be Captain? You know, like a boy. You feel like walking the plank? Working not. Then get in line before I place the black spot on you. Treasure will be ours. Me hearties are my name. Ain't Tom Sawyer, Black Avenger of the Spanish Main. Boarding party. We attack at dawn. Dawn! Ah! Take arms, Jolly Chaps! Repel them, pirate thieves! Oh. Walking you here. We should say hello. This flea bag ruffians aren't worth our time. Who are you saying is ruffians? I'm saying you are. I should lick you for that. Out of my way, we'll be going on now. I'll give you a licking sword or no sword. You say much, I will. Much, much. There now. You think power is smart, uh, don't you? Uh, uh, Blow me over, you're a girl. And you're a coward and a pup. Fight, 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 fight. Why do you run along home, girly girl? Wouldn't want to make you cry. That's enough, Alfred. Hush up, Becky. Besides, I wouldn't fight a girl neither, how. Talk like a boy. And you sure look like one, too. <laughs> ah! oh, oh. Ah! Get off me! No. Ah! Stop it, Alfred! No. I lose to a girl! No. No. I said hard enough. God. What? Ah. Oh. Enough! <laughs> That'll learn you. Better look who you're fooling with, Alfred. Can I help you, young lady? No, sir. I was just... You were what? Nothing. 
Just headed home, sir. We'll be off then. Rebecca? Get in the house this instant. You lost something, Miss Tom? Hi, Muff. Yeah, my dress. I ain't never known you to wear no dress. It's a new one Aunt Polly made for me. Sid must have been spying on me. <laughs> Is that right? What's the doc's on now? He calls it painkiller. He teaching me medicine. That's bully, Muff. One of those special bottles for Miss Polly. That's mighty kind of you, <laughs> Doctor. Thank you, dear. This is gonna cure whatever's ailing you. Mm. Come on, Ma. Bye, Doctor. Bye. Oh, don't mind that awful fence. Well, this fence here, hardly even noticed it. Hello there, Thomasina. Afternoon, Doctor. It's a mighty fine niece you got there. Mighty fine. <laughs> Ow! Oh, ain't done nothing! I found your dress. Sydney, you better watch yourself! You leave Sydney out of this! I should tan you for embarrassing me in front of the doctor looking like that. Since you have already made such a mess of your clothes, you will go back outside and paint that fence. Auntie, it's the last weekend of summer. I don't care if it's the last weekend of your entire life. You want to go play? You better start doing what you're told. You hear me? Why don't you get your friends to help? They ain't gonna stop playing to paint no big old fence. You gotta make them wanna do it. Work, hey. Say, Tom, you don't have to ignore a fella just because he got the bad lot today. <gasps> well, that's you, Ben. I weren't noticing. Going swimming. Don't you wish you could come? No time. Gotta get the castle ready before Robin Hood attacks. Why, when's we playing Robin Hood? As soon as we get this castle wall painted. If the cannons are over here, and we get the arches to cover the flank. He didn't say nothing about no war. Ain't telling nobody. Whoever paints the fence the mostest gets to be Robin. I wouldn't be Robin. Then who would I be? You'd be little John. Here, give me that. What are you doing? Painting the castle for the Robin Hood war. Robin Hood? Who's gonna be Robin? Whoever paints the fence the mostest. Reckon I can still be Robin? Painted the most. What's all the rock? Oh, no, 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 no
gotta go. Run! Get! Go! You aren't leaving this house till this fence is finished. I mean it. All done, Auntie. Coded and recoded. I never. Let's do something about that hair. The Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. He makes me lie down in green pastures and guides me by still waters. Why do we have to come? Everybody hated old Haas Williams. Why we gotta pretend we didn't? Shh! He just didn't know the war's over is all. I'm sorry in a church dress. No, I ain't never seen the day. You ain't never gonna see another day if you say another word. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done. Thank God if money's buried in there with them. Maybe. They say old Mr. spent all his days just counting his gold. Heard he sold the soul to the devil. Now the devil took him. Who's that man? Who do you mean? That man with Muff? I saw him yesterday. Friends him off, I guess. Reckon so. I reckon I'll see you at school tomorrow. I reckon not. this nonsense. Auntie, my tooth. What's the matter with your tooth? It's loose. It's awful. Well, your tooth might be loose, but you're not going to die over that. Sydney, fetch me the silk thread. Fine on me, Tom. Hello, Huckleberry. Hello yourself and see how you like it. Say, Huck, what's the dead cat for? To cure warts, of course. Warts? Most folks use spunk water to cure warts. Spunk water? Wouldn't give a darn for spunk water. No school? What a life. 
Wish I could just sport and swim and have a jolly time. Suits me fine. How do you suppose to cure morts with a dead cat? Why, you take the cat to the graveyard long after midnight when a wicked man has just been buried. A devil will come, maybe two or three. You can't see him, but you can hear him as the wind blows. You say, devil on corpse, cat on devil, warts on cat. I'm done with you. That'll get rid of just about any wart. I don't know. Seems... Don't believe me? Come along. I just might. By Jiminy, then. Tonight. Tonight? I reckon old Hoss Williams goes to have a few devils. Unless you're feared. Feared? Tain't likely. Father, I'll be late. Midnight. You me out? Keep me out back. Don't leave me waiting too long. If they catch us, we'll both get a licking. Won't need a second meow before I'm out of bed. See you tonight. I before E, except after C, start again. M I S C H I E. Miss Dobbins! Tom's late. Why are you late, young lady? It's my tooth, ma'am. It ached awful. My aunt had to pull it out. She wanted to keep me home. It took a bit of pleading, but she finally let me get to school. And if I talk to your aunt, Will she validate this story? She won't, Miss Dobbins. My mom pulled Tom's too, sure enough. But I saw her talking to that Huckleberry Finn. This can't be true. A, a young lady consorting with that vagrant boy? Who's Huckleberry Finn? Oh, an urchin lives down by the river. Doesn't even go to school. Over here. The good book says, spare the rod and spoil the child. I will not be moved from the path of righteousness by anyone, boy or girl. Hands. Now get your books and just go take a seat by the new girl. Maybe some of her manners will rub off on you. Doesn't it hurt? No. <laughs> if it ain't Miss Dobbins' old whipping post. Oh. <laughs> I reckon that's the most exercise you've done since your mom pushed you out of the womb, George. Oh. <laughs> we ain't counting your jaw grinding. <laughs> Hey, there's Becky. Hey, Becky. We haven't met official like. I'm George Harper. Nice to meet you. I'm Ben. Hi. Boys, how can you be so rude in front of royalty? Only a red carpet can suit Queen Becky Thatcher. Forgive their foolishness, Your Highness. Seem to be pretty high and mighty yourself there, Thomasina Sawyer. Always showing off. Oh. Oh. Hey, wait up!
Come on, let's go. Reckon them devils be around about midnight. You hear that? Out of the The devils. Those ain't no devils. Look, it's the talking mouth. William's body. What is he doing? That man came by my house. I wish we weren't here. Hey. Hey. We're here in the name of science. Not grave robbery. Have some decency. Did you think I forget? What? My wife was sick. I could have saved her if I was white. I help everyone I can. I swore if it took a hundred years, I'd get justice. Ma. 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 This ain't right. Everybody's gonna know it's you. It's your knife. The blood. I suggest you get as far away from this place as you can before they come looking for him. About this bit, a little bit. I'll take care of them. You say one word about me, I will slit their throats from ear to ear. Do oh, get! Did he see us? Don't know. If he knows we saw him, he'll kill us sure. Gotta keep mum about this, you hear? You gotta swear it. Come on. Huck, wait! Town's that away! Yeah? He died here. Ain't you afraid? That's what we're here for. Gotta make an oath to never, ever tell. What do we do? Drop dead swear. On the spirit of a dead man. You see? Hoss's ghost is our witness. Here's some chalk. Write the oath. What's it say? How can Tom swear to keep Mum and hope to drop dead if they ever tell? And Hoss Williams goes to Honda forever and ever. Write it. <laughs> now the blood. We say nothing, never and forever.
You talked so much in your sleep. You kept me awake most of the night. What's wrong, Mom? It's been a terrible tragedy. They found Dr. Robinson at the graveyard this morning, murdered. Who done I mean? Moth Potter's knife was laying next to the poor man, Mr. So. The whole town's out hunting for him. Here in our little town. Bloody murder. The doc was always so nice to him and he done that. They find him. They'll hang him, show her. Huck, you here? Yep. They found Mo's knife. Pinned him for the murder. Let's talk about hanging. We gotta tell. You drop dead swore! What do you say we go to Jackson's Island and wait till this whole thing's over and done? When? First light tomorrow. Maybe. I'll oh, think on it. You better not tell. Hey, Becky. I'll thank you to keep to yourself, Thomasina Sawyer. Making fun of me? I never want to speak to you again. I don't care if you never want to speak to me again, Miss Smarty. There. Then we'll both be happy. We're planning on good behavior today, are we not? Yes, ma'am. Even more than most days. Mm -hmm. Children, take out your chest books and complete the questions on page 24. responsible for this. Elizabeth Hayes, was it you? Ben Rogers. Rebecca Thatcher. Look at me. Look at me. Did you break into my desk and deface my book? Did you? Did you? I did it.
Bend over. Would you like to come back to my house? Sure. That'd be nice. Come on! What you doing here, Becky? Have you got a shred of respect for your family? by any girls lately. Let's go. Thank you, ma'am. Tom? <laughs> Becky. <laughs> seen nothing like it. You know what? I hate all these things. Stupid dresses. You don't have to wear them. Yes, I do. Papa insists I always look like a proper lady. I wish I could just wear whatever I want and act like whatever I want. Like you. At least you look nice in them. Try this one. No, it looks silly. <laughs> you look beautiful. Thanks. Come here. <laughs> oh, ow. My butt is sore. She hit you so hard. <laughs> Say, you want to be best friends? Sure, that'd be nice. <laughs> we caught him trying to sneak his wife and daughter out of here. <laughs> Becky, I, I, I gotta go. Whatever do you mean? Leaving town. Take me with you. What? I hate it here. No, it ain't the place for someone like you. Stuff on board then. Who's that? She's my friend Becky. She's coming with us. No, Granny. Ain't no city girl setting foot on my boat. She'll be fine. 
Chelsea. Well, if I'm not wanted... She's coming. You're coming. Set of girls afraid of the river. Becky, come on! She ain't a girl like you're a girl. What do you mean? I mean... You mean what? I don't know. Let's get... Nothing better than this. No one telling us what to do. The pirate's laugh is the laugh for me. I haven't heard of women pirates. Me neither. Ain't as common. They mostly dress like men. So no one underestimates them or nothing. But they're the meanest of them all. I wouldn't be too good a pirate. Sure you would. Pirates wear the bulliest clothes. Gold and silver and diamonds. Ain't got none but these. As soon as I found the treasure, you can get anything you like. Pirates don't get whooped by school teachers, right, Tom? Sure enough, pirates do the whooping. <laughs> <laughs> you girls ever smoke a pipe? I suppose not. Always wanted to. Could you learn me, Huck? Sure enough. Were you planning on spending the night here, Tom? Of course. Just suck in and puff out. Well, that's easy. If I'd known that was all, I'd be smoking for years. My daddy's going to be plenty mad if I'm not at the trial tomorrow. Tomorrow? <laughs> School's canceled. The whole town's gonna be there. Puff out, you hear? My daddy says justice is colorblind. Muff will get his trial just like anyone else in our town. <coughs> Who's to say Muff did it? Everybody knows. 
Well, if he did, he'd be powerful sorry. He liked the duck. Repentance will save your soul, but it won't save you from justice. That's what my daddy says. Here, want to smoke? Knew it. She's no pirate, just a scared little girl. Cut that out, Huckleberry. Becky ain't done nothing wrong. Ain't done nothing right, neither. I want to go home. Aw, shucks. Baby wants her mommy. I don't have a mommy. It shows what you know. Fine. Let the crybaby go home to her daddy, then. Look what you've done. What do you want with a girl like that, anyway? Thomasina Sawyer, I want you to take me home right now. Don't want you to know how. Show your bazook! Becky's all right. My daddy says. Think she's too good for the likes of us. Too good for you, maybe. I'm gonna go back to the island. You can come along or not. Don't give a lick. Mr. Potter, can you tell us what you were doing in the cemetery on the night in question? We was d d digging up a grave, me and Doc Robinson. He uses them dead bodies to practice his medicine on. I was a medic in the war, so he asked me to help. Time was they'd have dragged him out and strung him up. He killed him, sure enough. Hang him. Yeah. 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 Con will not be tolerated. Continue, Mr. Potter. The duck was just lying there. And my knife was all blood alike. I don't know what happened. That's the God's honest truth. The doc always treated me real good. Hang him! Hang him. Hang him. Hang him. Hang him. Silence! Order, please. You testified that you are alone in the cemetery with the doctor. Is that correct? Yes, sir. I see. Well, in the absence of any other living witnesses, must proceed to a verdict. And uh, under the circumstances, Mr. Potter, I have no choice but to move to I'm a witness. Tom, what are you doing? Sit down. It's me, sir, Tom Sawyer. I run the graveyard. I seen it all. Come on up to the witness stand. Now, do you solemnly swear to tell the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth to help you, God? I do.
Miss Sawyer. You can call me Tom. Tom? Yes. Well, can you tell the court your whereabouts last Monday around the hour midnight? I was in the graveyard. Louder, please. Don't be afraid now. Hour. I was in the graveyard. Were you anywhere near Mr. Williams's grave? Yes, sir. Near as I am to you. Was anybody with you? Just me and a dead cat. <laughs> what is a young lady like you doing at midnight in a graveyard with a dead cat? Getting rid of warts. <laughs> Three men come upon the grave. Muff Potter, Doc Robinson, and that man there, the man that stabbed the Doc. I saw him with my own eyes, Your Honor. Silence! Silence! Or in court! Muff Potter is innocent. You get back here, young lady. Hey, stop! Sit down! Silence. Traitor! Huck, I'm sorry. Sorry, don't wash. Why do you do it? Couldn't let Muff hang and let the real murderer go free. Now he knows we saw him. Only knows I saw him. Didn't mention you, Huck. We made an oath in blood. You can't break drop dead oaths. We'll die. What can we do? Go back and erase it before it's too late. When it's too late? When we're dead. Come on. Wipe it off. Never been mad at a body my whole life than an Emmett, you fat now, Tom Sawyer. It ain't coming off. Wipe harder. been here. Who's up there? What do we do? Wait. Huck, I think he's asleep.
Tihus Truga. Up, yes, we are. Tick no, no. The gook. Oh, wait. Get on the juice of Gindula. So we're going to the caves, Paul? But I don't feel like it's one of those times where we could really use some change. Oh, Lord. Oh, I should turn you for scaring the life out of me. Tom, oh, your aunt was awful worried about you. It was mighty brave what you did in court today, Tom. Indeed it was. But I need you to sit down with me and tell me the whole truth about where you were and who you saw that night. That was the whole truth. Your aunt has told me that you are prone to telling colorful stories. Auntie, you believe me, don't you? Of course, dear. Muff is innocent. Well, the sheriff has a search party out looking for the man that you identified, so don't worry, we will find him soon. But I already know. Know what, Tom? Nothing. I know nothing. Judge, <laughs> child seems awfully tired. Perhaps we could come and see you in the morning? Of course. Mm. Yeah, it'll keep till the morning. Run along now, Tom. Off to bed, you hear? Leave these problems to the grown-ups. Uh, uh, Rebecca! <sighs> Why aren't you telling? Nobody ever believes me. I believe you. He went. Then why won't you tell my father? They'll catch him and arrest him. Huck's with him. He's Huck's pa. They hunt him down. They're likely to shoot Huck. No one in this town cares about him except for me. What are you gonna do? Go find him. He's in danger and it's my fault. When? As soon as the grunts fall asleep. Rebecca. Your daddy is waiting for you outside. Jingo, you nearly spooked me to death. I'm going with you. Ha, huh. no how. I brought supplies, 
They're Alfred's old riding breeches. You like them? Lordy, what's this? My daddy's army saver. Reckon we might need a weapon. He ain't coming. I want to be brave like you today. But you hate Huck. He needs help. You darn lost your mind, Becky. Come on. You know these caves, Tom? Been a couple of times, but they've been closed off for a while. Why are they closed off? Hoss's daughter died in there, they say. A lot of folks went in searching for her, didn't come out. You like gum? I should say so. I'll let you chew mine a while, but you must give it back. Where did Mr. Williams get all his gold? They say he was a knight. And out of the Golden Circle. What's that? Confederates who didn't give in to the Yankees. You ever heard of John Wilkes Booth? Of course I have. He was one. When the North closed in, these knights would steal slabs of gold and hide it. Why? Because when the time is right, they can rise again. Tom? There it is. Huck's in there. It's pitch black. I brought a lantern. Maybe we should wait for them to come out. Ain't you afeard of Hoss's daughter? Hoss will wait. Dana. Sure you're reading it right, Edo? Just a bat. What's that? Michelle. Hawk left us a trail.
Te Oyaya Te Hi Te John Se Hon Huh? He done No shells. Must have missed a turn away his back. <sighs> Tom? What? A few bats never hurt no one. Shouldn't have let me come. I'm just a silly girl. I didn't say that. It's what you're thinking. Are you gonna get up? You're right. I hate silly girls. We should have let the grown-ups handle this. We're lost, and it's my fault. You left me. Looking for a way out. Can we go in time? Something will turn up. Dostoevsky! Jay will I saw Say Lee Jay Lee. Hey don't desk it. Search party on patrol. Don't worry, we'll find them.
too well. They both died in the war. My pa took a bullet. And my ma, she were a nurse. And got powerful sick. I don't think about my mama all the time. Daddy doesn't talk about her much, other than that she had to leave to get better. And one day she'll be back. Better from what? I don't know. I like to think that she's traveling with the circus. She'll be back one day. Just wait and see. What do you say we try and find a way out of here? On your feet, man. Let's move out. Sir! Now, just one second. Those caves have been abandoned for years. They could collapse at any time. Sheriff, it's my daughter in there. Go like it. Where's Huck? 
Where's Huck? Good question. Back. Pull out some sticks. Keep moving, man. Let's go. Who will I get? Jude, let's go on the hug. News I did, I used to. Ain't worth killing for. So done now. That's going under. That's I was a I... little boy. You took off and left me. But Tom, Tom is my friend. Let's go. Come we need on. To go now. Come on. We gotta go. Hey, dude, come with us. The only way in is blocked. There must be something more you can do. We'll get a team down here, try to clear it out. In the meantime, Sheriff, you and your men, you search every inch of this hillside. Look for another way in.
be lying if I said Thomasina wasn't a handful. She tormented the old heart out of me. <laughs> she wasn't bad, so to say. Just giddy and harem scarum. Couldn't get her to comb my hair, but she was mighty smart. She was just like a mother. Mischievous. <laughs> Clever. And the biggest hearted girl I ever did see. If I had it to do over again, I would, <laughs> I would hug her and tell her what a comfort she was to me. taking care of my sister in there. I missed you too, Alfred. Huckleberry, come here for a moment. That was an awfully courageous thing you did. Weren't nothing, ma'am. Sorry, we didn't tell the truth sooner, Mom. You done right, sure enough, Miss Tom. You done right. Me and my family be thanking you for the rest of our lives. Heroes and guests of honor. Your mommy and daddy would be so proud, Tom. And Huckleberry looks like a proper gentleman.
some cake. Huckleberry Finn, tell me what's eating your all like you so hard you won't never leave this fort. I don't fit, Tom. Too many blam rules. <sighs> Waking up same time every morning, washing, combing. It ain't for me. Reckon I might take the raft and head down river. See the world. Can't you try a little longer? I'm gonna wear one of them custard ties as long as I... Can't you ask her to ease up a bit? Let me swim when I want. Maybe smoke a little tobacco. I reckon I know how to get around, Auntie. Tom, I gotta show you something. Couldn't leave it all behind. <laughs> We're rich, Tom. Our little secret. That's bully, huh? I'm gonna buy a house. I'm gonna buy underwear. <laughs> <laughs>